Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is April and I'm a part-time reseller, primarily on Poshmark and eBay, but also on Facebook Marketplace and Mercari. So today I'm a little bit late since it's like January 13th, but I'm coming at you with my top 24 sales of 2021. At the very end, make sure you stay tuned, all the breakdown of all of these sales. Now, I know a lot of people did the top 21 of 2021, but I had to include a couple other items. So I went with 24. Um, I am a full-time ELA teacher. We do have five children. I've been teaching ELA for um, 20 years in the same district, and it's eighth grade, so it takes a special kind of crazy. All my fellow educators out there, um, bless you, especially um, through all of what's going on with COVID. Also, a big shout out to all of our healthcare workers right now and anybody else who's a frontline worker with COVID. So let's go right ahead and get started. These are just our, my Poshmark sales. Like I said, I do sell on other platforms. We'll focus on Poshmark. So we're going to start with um, these Leffler, Leffler Randall sneakers that I received in a Jomar wholesale box. I think I paid about $3 for these. These sold within about a month for $75, so that was a great sale. Even though they were a smaller size, I was pretty impressed. Now, when it comes to Jomar, I'm just going to be quite honest with you. I'm not in love with the Jomar boxes, unless they have a significant sale. Like, for example, at holiday time, they had a 40% off. I did purchase a half pallet of active wear as well as 90 pairs of shoes. I don't really buy Jomar. Um... So I will be doing a video of that active wear palette, letting you know how that goes. Kind of figured with us going into the new year, people would be looking for more active wear. So hopefully the Jomar box comes soon. If you've ordered from Jomar, you know it can take quite a, a long time. This next item is an item that came from a thread up designer box, this Gucci full zip large sweatshirt. Um, it did sell for $75. I think I had it listed for about $125 and it also sold within about a month. Those designer boxes do come up on the thread up rescue boxes, but they are so few and far between unless you are constantly um, refreshing the screen for the rescue boxes. It's very difficult to get this. Now, luckily I am uh, a teacher, so I have summers off. So I am kind of um, stalking the website in the summertime. So I am able to get some of these boxes. Item 22, this Reformation Linen Tensil Chic Black Midi Dress. Now, you can see I did not iron this, and it's still sold for $75. Linen is so difficult to keep wrinkle-free, and it did still sell. This came in a Thread Up Mixed Women's Rescue Box. It was my, I want to say, the second um, box I, I purchased. Um, I purchased the, the 200 pounds, so four 50-pound boxes. I actually had, I think, four or five Reformation pieces in those boxes, so I got kind of lucky. Reformation is a fairly quick flip, so if you come across Reformation, uh, if I were you, I would definitely pick it up. 21. Oops. Okay, so I said oops because I was like, why didn't I pop this up so that you could see it large? This was actually a paired sale. There were two items, but I wanted to include it because one of these items was this Elizabeth Cole um these earrings and Elizabeth Cole is a designer for jewelry that you really need to be on the lookout for her items. I actually have one other one in this top 24. Her items do sell at a pretty high rate. So, um, these as well as the J crew earrings sold for a bundle price of 85. I think it was, let's pop back here. Um, yes, $85. So I want to include that because really it was Elizabeth Cole earrings that sold this, not those J. Crew earrings. So we're at 24 to 3, 2, 2, 20, number 20. Um, oh, by the way, this Elizabeth Cole, these earrings came from a Goodwill online bundle that I purchased. Tory Birch Tortoise Chunky Necklace came in my very first thread up jewelry box that I ever received. I did make a video of that. I'll put a note here so I remember. Um, it was my very first video, actually. And two items in this top 24 came from that video. I will link that video in the description for you. This sold within a week for $75, making that first thread up box very lucrative between this and the other item. Now, my second thread up box was not as good. I had a couple more thread up fun. Uh, was this a, no, this was a jewelry box that 
that were very good. Um, you, you know, if you buy thread up boxes, you know, it's just, you get what you get. So you, you got to take the good and roll with the bad. Number 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19. <laughs> Maybe I should write that down so I remember. Um, this 14 carat Mylar resin gold electroform resin ring, size six and a half. I finally did bite the bullet on this ring and bought myself a ring sizer. Um, this is not a solid gold ring. It is got it has a hollow core. That's why it is called resin. Um, I did have a lot of interest in this, but it took a couple months to sell. I got this from, I, I thought I got it from a Goodwill, but I may have gotten it online. I think I recorded it as Goodwill, but now I'm thinking about it. I may have gotten it online from a bundle. Anyway, sold for $80. Like I said, I did take a little bit to sell. Number 18 is another Elizabeth Cole piece. This came in my last Goodwill jewelry box that I got around holiday time. Um, and it sold very quickly. I would say within a week for $80. And again, um, you definitely want to take a look at anything that you come across Elizabeth Cole. And I think I have a picture here of the branding, the logo, so you can kind of see. Number 17. This also came from a Jomar box. I purchased a Jomar Show Me Your Moo Moo box of dresses, and I would never do it again because I did have to steam all of these dresses, and boy, did I not want to. I actually just finished steaming the last of these dresses, I think seven or eight more dresses and listing them last week. I bought this in March, so if that gives you any indication of how I did not want to steam them. Um, I believe it was 25 dresses for about $225, and I sold this gold Show Me Your Moo Moo dress um, in a size 2X for $85. Now, definitely made my money back on these, but again, it did take quite a bit of work. I think I've sold all but like maybe... 12, 14 of them. And that was number, was that 17? 15, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 24, yeah, 17. 16. This was the second item from that first thread up box, a jewelry box that I was telling you about with that Tory Burch damask necklace. Um, it was this Ralph Lauren Western belt. This was really a beautiful belt. It actually had the tags on it still. Let's see if I can find a photo for you. This sold, I would say, within a week. Um, the MSRP, that's ridiculous, $795. Um, yeah, really great, a great jewelry box. So $85. Number 15, these Nike Air Jordan Midi Black University red and blue sneakers. I picked these up locally, probably for like $12, 10 or 12 Actually, no, these were $5. Um, and sold them, I would say, within a month for $95. Now, you do have to be careful with Jordans because they are faked. Um, and I did have one pair this year that when I wasn't really sure about Jordans that I got faked out on. I'm looking at my head stuff here. So you want to check. The easiest way, I think, to check is to just check your measurements on the inside tongue. Let's see if I can find a picture to show you what I'm talking about. So when you look at the tongue here, this eight and a half. If you check it in comparison with the UK measurement, they should line up as far as an eight and a half being a UK seven and a half. Now, what I have found with those that are faked is oftentimes those two numbers are not lined up. That's one easy way to see if it's a pair of fake Jordans. Now, that's not always the case, but I do find that that happens. All right, moving on to number 14. This is a Bolo. If you've never heard of this brand, you definitely want to pick it up if you come across it. I did sell two items in this brand, Danner. Danner boots, um, especially. The others were like outdoor hiking sneakers. I think those sold for $40. But these sold within a week for $100. I think I paid $15 for these. So it was a really great pickup. I picked these up locally. Definitely would pick up Danner if you come across them. Number 13, this Fry Black Leather Laptop Backpack. Um, this came in a thread up bag, 15 bag, not the name bag, name brand one, the five name brand. brand. This was the 15 bag. It also came with another item that is in this top 24. And this sold within a month for about, uh, about a month for $105. It did have some signs of wear, but overall it was a great bag. Now, 
A lot of people will talk with you about fry shoes selling well, but they do tend to sit. I find that fry bags sell quickly. They don't sit nearly as long as a lot of the shoes you're going to find. So that was number 13, I hope, I think. Number 12, this Ted Baker Blenheim Palace embellished bodycon body con dress was new with tags. You can see it here. Um, I have no idea who this person is, by the way. This is, you know, what? what's his name? The last vice president. Help me. Can't remember. Anyway, um, this came from ThreadUp. It was just a regular mixed women's rescue. It was a 400 pound purchase that I had. And it did have stains. It was, it's a silk dress. It had stains and I get my silk dress stains out using a combination of just distilled water and, um, alcohol. You just spray it and then lightly brush it. If you've got a, a soft bristled toothbrush, you can use that. You just lightly brush it. Okay. It sold for a hundred dollars. Now got all those stains out. There weren't that many actually, but I got them out and the woman who purchased it still gave me a four star with no comment about why. So I'm not really sure why I got a four star. This was a great sale though. Number 11. This Alexander Wang eyelet skirt I purchased online on one of those Facebook market, or not, not Facebook market, but it's Facebook online groups like, you know, where buyers and sellers resell and purchase. Um, I believe I paid $10 for this and I sold it for $105. This took probably about four months to sell. It was not a quick flip. These Aquazura pom pom mules, um, they had a tiny bit of wear on the toes. Otherwise, these were in fabulous condition. I'll show you that wear. Aquazura is a great brand. I did not know that until I uh, started stalking other YouTubers and learning a little bit more about um, brands that are good and popular. These came in a thread up shoe box, a rescue box. Um, it was a really great rescue box, actually. I sold a pair of rag and bone boots in that rescue box, also for $60. So um, these sold for $110 within a month. Hopefully we're on number 10 here. This is a brand I had never heard of before. It is a designer brand. It's a high-end designer brand. It's called Giacomus. I think that is how you say it. This is a one-shoulder cutout dress. This sold within hours of listing it. It came from a women's thread up mis mixed rescue box. Not the same one as a Ted Baker dress, a different one, nor the one with the Reformation dress. Um, it could also be worn not on a shoulder. And this had actually a pretty significant um, tear happening on one of the uh, armpits. Um, it was a size two and it still sold within hours for $115. Number nine. These Harley Davidson chaps I picked up locally. I paid $20 for them and sold them within a couple of weeks for $125. Now, if you come across anything Harley Davidson in leather, pick it up if it is $20 because you're going to be able to sell it, especially shoes. Okay. But chaps, 100%, pick them up. These actually had, I think, paint stains on them. Let's see here. Um, yeah, some paint stains that you can see here, but they still sold for um, 125 very quickly. I don't remember what size, what size, large. Okay, so go ahead and pick up Harley Davidson if you come across it. Now, if you're talking about Harley Davidson shirts um, or kids clothing, I definitely wouldn't spend as much. But if it's $7, I mean, Harley Davidson does tend to be a quick flip. So if you don't mind making $25 on a $7 sale, but you know it's going to be a pretty quick flip, something that's in great condition, then go ahead and pick it up. Number seven is this 1940s dead stock swimsuit. This was just an amazing piece of history. I did have this looked at by somebody who specializes in um, vintage clothing and give me some ideas about this. I had my daughter, who's a size two, try it on just to see what the sizing would equate to because it only had um, the, the, I can't remember exactly what it had for sizing now that I'm thinking about it. Let's see if I can find it. Um, yeah, I said it was a size 36 or 14. 
but it really fit small. It was very stretchy. All of the elastic still was in just amazing condition. Got this locally at one of my uh, local thrift shops. I was shocked to come across it. I paid $4 for it and sold it for $125. It took about maybe six weeks to sell. That was number seven. Number six is another bag that came with that fry backpack that I showed you in a thread up uh, 15 bag handbag box. Um, actually, I think I have, I think I have a video on this as well um, that I will link for you in the description. It was a really good box overall. This sold for $125. Now, rag and bone, I find the, the pants, the jeans don't really sell that quickly, but the bags do tend to be good. The bags and some of the shoes, not all of the shoes, you definitely want to look up comps. So I definitely would have paid up to $25 or $30 for this if I found it locally. Um, definitely a good pickup. It did have a little bit, I want to say a tiny bit of wear, but I don't remember um, exactly what the wear was now that I... Oh, there you go. You can see it. Just a little bit of scuffing. Um, there we go. I think this is number five. These Harley Davidson boots, like I said, Harley Davidson is a great pickup. I picked up three pair of these boots. Two of them sold on Poshmark. One pair sold on eBay. Um, these were the second pair to sell for $130. I paid $25 for these. So this is a great pickup. These were in immaculate condition. Um, I may have been able to sell them for a little bit more if I held out, but I did sell them within, I think, a month of listing them. Number four, this Prada silk skirt um, came in the designer box with that Gucci full zip that I showed you um, previously. It did have, I did have to do some sewing on it. Um, here we go. So it, this, uh, what do you want to call that? The hook clasp? I don't know. Um, I did have to sell that, uh, sew that back on. Um, oh, wait, was that what I had to do? No, it was this thing right here. The bottom of it, I had to sew back on. The actual eyelet clasp. Here I am thinking that you can see my mouse, but you can't. The eyelet clasp, that looks like a door handle. I just had to sew the bottom on, I think. Um, otherwise, it was in very good condition with a very few thread pulls that I showed. Um, and this sold, I think it took like maybe three months for $140. Now, having said that, the rest of the box wasn't that great besides those two items. It was, I, the Prada shoes, I actually, you can see those in here. I still have those, um, shockingly. I don't know. I don't know what to say. If that designer box came up again, I would buy it just because, I mean, it is nice to have designer higher end things in your closet but expect that you're not going to necessarily sell them quickly that it needs to be an investment and it needs to be a long-term investment and as long as you're willing to hold on to things then it would be a good investment for you number three this is another bag that came in a thread up 15 bag handbag and actually i have a video of this too so i will put this in i unbox this with my stepdaughter reese um this box wasn't a bad box, but this was definitely the best piece of the box. It sold for $150 within days of listing it. This Isabella Fiore brand is definitely one that is a bolo. I'd never heard of it before, but if you look this brand up, you will see the comps are pretty awesome. So you definitely want to pick that up if you see it. This bag was in immaculate condition with very little wear. The inside was just amazing. The buyer was so happy, left an amazing um, feedback for it. Let's see if I can pop back and find that so you can see it. Unbelievably beautiful. Thanks. Um, so that was this was a really great thread up bag box. I always feel like I'm tongue tied when I try to say those rescue boxes. Here is another pair of the Harley Davidson boots that I previously told you about. This is number two on my top 24. These sold within a week for $155. And again, I paid $25 for these. They were in immaculate condition. I do believe I probably could have sold them for a little bit more if I'd held out. But I mean, seriously, $155 for a $25 pickup, I feel like is a great, great return for that cost of goods. So that was number two. 
And number one came from Goodwill. I purchased a huge lot, reseller lot of sunglasses. Now, Goodwill online auctions, they do kind of suck for anybody on the East Coast because most of the auctions are Central Time or Pacific Time, meaning that we on the East Coast have to be up at like midnight and I start work at 7 uh, 30 in the morning I have to be at school it is very difficult for me to stay up past 10 o'clock at night and be up in the morning at 5 a.m so I was lucky enough to get the sunglasses lot I think I paid 200 dollars for the entire lot and these Maui gym polarized glasses sold within a week I would say for $160. Now Maui gym is a fabulous brand if you can get your hands on them I definitely would so there it is, everybody. That is my top 24 of 2021. Now let's take a look at the breakdown, okay? So on the left, you see the breakdown of where the items came from. Of these 24 items, about 8% came from Joe Mar, just those two items, the Leffalo Randall, shoe, Randall Shoes and the Show Me Your Moo Moo Dress. Goodwill online sites, we've got 12.5%, tied with Facebook online sites for Facebook Marketplace with 12.5%. My local thrift stores are at 16.7%, and you can see ThreadUp is definitely sending me the majority of my higher-end, higher-priced items with 50% of the items I showed you today. Now, what categories do this breakdown? Categories does this list break down into? 12.5% were bags. 25% or not? Uh, yeah, bags. 25% um, is accessories. So jewelry, sunglasses, 25% shoes, and then 37.5% clothing. I hope you really enjoyed this video and seeing what sold for me as my top 24 in 2021. If you're a return subscriber, of course, I appreciate every single video that you watch. I just hit my 200 subscribers, and I'm super grateful for all of you. If you're a new, uh, new watcher, welcome. Hopefully, you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I'll, as always, I don't know why I'm stuttering. If you enjoyed this video and the time it took for me to put this out for you, please hit like and leave a comment. It does help boost me in that YouTube algorithm. So thanks, everybody. Have a great day, and I hope you have a great time thrifting. I know I do.